We've talked about reading people and what a person isn't saying through their body language and micro expressions. But you can also read their personality through their facial features. I've watched you do this over and over, you've read me, my wife and my four year old son and we've all been amazed. But how does it all work? Think first of the muscles in your body. You can uh, tell if someone has been working out purely by their physical shape. The face muscles are no different. When you make the same expression over and over, the muscles associated with making the expression change shape too. For instance, the muscles above the eyebrows will thicken when somebody focuses a lot, which is the same for any other focused expression. The facial features then become the history of how we behave and respond towards situations. There are also traits that we are born with, those that are passed down through our uh, parents, including a number that can be seen at birth. They say that we are the product of all of our experiences, or more accurately, we are the product of all of our reactions to all of our experiences. And these are all recorded in the facial and uh, physical features. They are recorded, uh, the recordings for our uh, behaviours which make up our uh, personalities. Recognising these features is the GPS to reading the personality. Is this a skill anyone can learn? Most certainly. It's a matter of observing, seeing the relevant facial features, knowing that each feature indicates and then build a picture of how uh, they work together. The result is that we are then able to see the person as a unique individual. Where can you use what you learn from facial features and personality traits? In business, for instance, in training sales teams to connect more effectively, team building, uh, and when new staff members come in. Without the need to put everyone through a uh, personality question, questionnaire, you can read them at a glance and know how to connect with them. Then there are private relationships, you know, so that you can uh, better understand your partner. But the most important of all is career selection for students deciding what career they should follow and for mature age workers seek, seeking a change in their careers. It's a skill that every teacher, counsellor, health and medical practitioner, salesperson and HR group should have. It's a skill we all need to have. How does reading human traits and facial features work in with body language and micro expressions? When somebody reads uh, micro-expressions, no matter how good they are when they, when they were training, the best uh, reader's performance will drop to a level of around about 70% accuracy when faced with a real-life situation. Although I read micro and subtle expressions at an expert and master proficiency level, I found that to be absolutely true myself. Your performance increases dramatically when you're, you combine reading body language and also when you uh, set the scene with the right statements and ask the uh, relevant questions. Together these help you to read and uncover what's really happening in the moment. They uncover somebody's immediate true emotional response to situations. They can't however tell you how somebody is likely to behave in the future situation occurs. Uh, reading human traits can though. Together, reading micro-expressions, body language and employing question questioning techniques and reading human traits gives you the tools you need. They become the skills to reading and learning social emotional intelligence.